But with Cyclone Debbie bearing down on us in our last episode, we head for the safety of a mangrove creek. We tie ourselves down and prepare the boat for the beast that comes. So it's about to six o'clock in the morning and um, it's pretty brutal outside. It's quite violent. Uh, even though the eye didn't pass over us, we must be pretty close to it. Um, can't tell you the wind speeds we've been having. I think we might have actually lost our Windex from up the top of the mast. Yeah, it's um, horizontal rain. And there's just this massive roar. It comes, you can hear it coming from the southeast, which is this direction. And this roar just comes and it builds and it builds and it builds and then it smacks the side of Sarian like so violent. And she pulls on her lines and tugs away. But um, yeah, <laughs> boy, are we glad to be in here. It's actually quite sheltered. Um, I wouldn't like to be out anywhere from anywhere the other side of those hills. It's really protected in here. So I'll try and take some footage, see the other camera outside, but as you can probably hear, we're in the best place. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good here. There's, there's lots of big stuff here, so all we've got to do is ride out the mess and we should be alrighty.
Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe we're not in there yet. No, no, we're not there yet. It's pretty out there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Quite good when you're standing out there on deck, you know, just wind howling around you everywhere. Uh, pretty good. Some of it's uh, quite savage, but uh, we're still holding up pretty good. I've seen worse, but uh, we should be right. That's the spirit, my honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're always going to pass us. Well, it should be over pretty shortly by the feel of it, like the barometer's dropped. You know, the bottom just about. Down about 972 now, which is really low. 972, yeah, that's pretty low. Yeah. The old barometer. So, uh, no wonder it's getting feisty outside. No, it's feisty, <laughs> Far out. Yeah. No, I don't really know what the gusts are on because it's raining so hard. Our wind instrument, you know, it's playing havoc with it. So uh, probably, you know, we're we're getting. Here and gusting the you know, gusting the 70s. I'm not really sure whether it'll be really outside. It'd be probably quite messy, I'd say. But anyway, you could be uh, plenty of worse places in here. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be in a marina. Like I'd be feel very exposed in a marina. No wonder they cleared them out. Oh yeah, yeah. No. yeah. So. At least here we're tucked between two sets of mangroves and we're stuck in behind a hill. Yeah, no. at least if you get that domino effect where somebody starts breaking loose, at least you're on your own. You know, that's the, yeah, you haven't got everyone else taking you out. That's the biggest advantage. Yeah. You've really only got to worry about yourself. dropped to about 970 which means the eye's got to be pretty close to us right now uh, we're at full high tide and these cyclones usually come over at high tide it is pretty messy out here but we are tied down nicely our lines are holding fast which is really great and uh, <laughs> you can't really see anything anymore it's just this mist this grey, like previously I could see the clouds at the top of the mast swirling around which was pretty neat um, but now it's just all grey and the rain is horizontal and it hurts. You stick your hand out there it hurts, it's like hail. So yeah, <laughs> we're just um, holding fast, joking around, trying to keep the mood light. Had a chat earlier on to the three guys down the uh, down the creek. They seem to be all right. But this is really the crux of it now, and uh, we expect. Um, well, I'll try and get back to you if the eye eye comes over us and it's calm. <laughs> pretty full on. Pretty full on. Don't tell my mum it's this bad. <laughs> So I just thought I'd give you a heads up. It's about um, 10.45, not too far off high tide. So uh, we're still getting some pretty big gusts, as you can hear. <laughs> Darren's got a big smile on his face. 
we were just commenting about how it's like being down below is like being in a really turbulent aeroplane flight all the jiggling and pulling to and fro and you know that really bumpy bumpy sort of thing when you come into landing just before you land it just sort of gets really bumpy it's a bit like that down here at the moment but it's pretty comfy I'm finding the creaking of the doors and the groaning of the boat to be quite comforting and even though we're really exposed to the high tide I'm really glad that we um, that the cyclone is passing over us at high tide because we were just sort of thinking that if um, if it was low tide we'd actually be touching the bottom so the keel would really be working holding the whole weight of the boat so pretty glad that um, she's actually moving free there's water flowing underneath the keel because it's quite a bit of pressure happening on the boat at the moment it's, you know she's being pulled and shoved quite violently so we wouldn't want to be sitting on the keel working the keel doing that yeah anyway Sarian's holding true she's built for this kind of um, rough weather she's a strong girl so we just got to keep riding it through text off one of the boys before he said uh, I think the eyes out on the wet Sundays there now so but in saying that he's saying that uh, the eyes not going to roll through until about four o'clock so you know all subject to change obviously but anyway we'll see how we go this is uh, this is about as slow as they get anyway we're here, so we just got to suck it up, I guess. Uh, we're not too big, lots of rope in the front. The wind up the tunnel, and this thing was left in the other water. Copy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. I, d I don't know. I know I said it before, but I don't think it'll get much worse. But uh, <laughs> it made a liar of me last time. Well, I don't know if you can read that, but the barometer has dropped to 960... Wow, 963 now. It's dropping pretty rapidly. Yesterday, or oh, the last couple of days, it's been sitting around 1,020 or so. But yeah, today, in the last couple of hours, it's just dropped straight down, so... Bit of a bomb. Bit of a weather bomb.
Boy, nature's pretty powerful, isn't she? It's the roar I can't get over. It's amazing. I know you can't see much at the moment, but what can you hear? It's like a big jet plane, hundreds of them surrounding us. Amazing. The wind's actually backed off a bit. I think the eye must be getting fairly close, but the sound, like it's just this, this constant roar. So what we're doing is we're prepping to get out of the creek. It's just coming up high tide. We're only just going to have enough room to get out. And I'm going to be the dinghy girl.
we're just leaving uh, what has been our safe haven for the last five days. Uh, the tide is just coming on high now so we've got a metre under the keel we'll be able to get out hopefully out through this bay. Looks like Pop, uh, the boat in front of us has been stuck a couple of times. Hopefully that won't happen to us. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you very much to Trammell Bay for looking after us and sheltering us in the mangroves while this big bertha of a cyclone went over. Three days, unreal. They normally come over very quickly, but anyway. We'll see if we can get out without touching the bottom. So up ahead we've got Canada Goose and Inertia has been waiting on the outside just to make sure that we all get through. <laughs> Apparently they shut Shoot Harbour which is our home base for now and um, it got absolutely ravaged. Hundred, well, multiple, multiple, multiple boats sunk. So um, the Navy's come down and shut the harbour, which will be interesting. We've got to try and get into our home. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll let us in. But we know of quite a few boats of uh, people that we've met who left their boats on their moorings and they're gone. This whole bay is just shattered. Trees are just mangled and torn apart. Oh man. A hundred and eight, a hundred and fifty-eight knots of wind strength tore these bloody trees to pieces. Gee. We are very lucky people. Very lucky. I tell you what though, I wouldn't want to be in a... I'm so glad we didn't go to a marina. The marinas in Ely have been shredded. So we made the right choice. There we go, pops out. So we're just returning to Shoot Harbour. It's a bit rock and roll on the way in. The northerlies is blowing about 35 knots, say. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, that's just the way it is after bad weather. Seen a few masts off in the distance, sunken in the uh, sticking out of the water. It's a very sad sight to see. Plum, plum, plum cake. What a shame. What a shame for plum cake. That was the uh, floating motel. Wow. Big old barge, these all came hurtling through. They might be able to pull this. Oh, he's got a hole in the bottom. Bummer. Might be Ash's old boat, this one. Oh, such a shame. We've got left. Abandoned. It's 
So there's probably a boat just under here. So, so sad. There's a couple of the older inter yacht boats. Oh man, I'm so glad we went away. That's just heartbreaking, isn't it? Absolutely heartbreaking. There's more boats down here. Imagine the force that created that, that launched that boat all the way in there. the old fishing jetty which doesn't actually live there at all. This is uh, some poor person's pitch. High and dry up the boat ramp. And that mooring field out there used to be full of boats. It's pretty near empty now. We were just standing on this jetty about a week ago. Unbelievable. So much carnage. Unbelievable. Beach is just covered in broken boats. So that's the wrap up and that's, um, I don't know how many boats there are, 50 or so on the shore. Such a shame. So sad to see. Anyway, that's the wrap up of our cyclone event. And uh, the army have arrived and they're starting to just shovel things away. Sarian sits out there on her mooring and we'll be out another day to go sailing. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video. Links to the music in this video are in the description below, so please check them out. If you like this video, please share, it really helps us out, and subscribe to follow along on our adventures. We love to hear from you, so please chat with us and ask any questions in the comments box below. Until next time, we send our love and wish you happy, happy days. Ciao for now.